This year's Settlers show was hosted at the Grahamstown Riding Club. The event managed to attract many spectators and riders from across the country, with over 100 horses being stabled at the riding club. Settlers has been fantastic. I mean, it's the first away show that I've had in, since I started riding again, and it feels like I've been like I'm just at home. I grew up in Kimberley, and it's, it's a very similar vibe, very family oriented, and in terms of punctuality, they've been amazing. The event was made up of three disciplines, namely showing, show jumping, and dressage. All age groups were catered for, with younger riders also having events such as the fancy dress to take part in. Some of the more experienced riders managed to show their skills and capability of winning as many of their classes as possible. Uh, I won one class and now uh, this is my second class. I'm in a lead at the far, so far in the championships. So I'm holding thumbs that I can keep that lead. So I'm from Port Elizabeth and every year we come and support the Settlers show here in Grahamstown because it's a fantastic show. Last year unfortunately we had a lot of rain here and this year the weather was perfect. So I used to be a jockey and I fell in a race about eight, nine years ago and I injured my hand so I got written off. I love riding horses so I thought well let me start show jumping and keep my passion up. However, the price of the sport is a major setback for local riders who are more than grateful to have a track so close and in such good condition. It's very expensive, so we need a lot of sponsors, but otherwise it's really cool. Which I mean, that's what we need in the Eastern Cape, because we can't travel to Johannesburg and Natal all the time for big shows. So it's nice to have a course, course builder like that to build for the riders. Roberts emphasised his gratitude to the planners of the show for doing all that they could to ensure that the event was successful. This is Brad Dennett reporting for Grocott's Mail.